we have the man, the myth, the legend, Tony Stark, Iron Man. So I'm just gonna do a quick brush off of my thing. Get a lot of plastic on there. It's getting dirty. I'm gonna check over my instructions for this guy. All right, so once again, it looks like we're gonna start with the torso. So that's gonna be part one and part two. So we're just gonna clip those out. I wanna be a little careful down here because you'll see that the port connects to kind of the um, hip slash lower torso. So you just don't wanna clip off that nub, but it's a really easy point to just kind of snip off. Same thing here. Just wanna be aware of where those, those ports terminate and the parts start. So it's best to just take a second, kind of line up your cut, and then take the cut. Old adages are true in hobby too. Measure twice, cut once. You can always take away more, you can never add more. At least when it comes to assembly, it's kind of the opposite. When you're painting, you can always add more paint. It's really hard to remove paint. So, but at least in this, adding material, not really gonna be a thing that can happen. All right, so our parts are ready. We're gonna do a quick dry fit. You always wanna test those fits. Make sure you know where we're going. Looks great. Whoop, that part got away from me. So one of the things you'll notice is like, I always like to apply glue more than often than not to the female side of the key. Um, I don't necessarily think that it's any more right or wrong than adding glue to the male side of the key. It's just what I like to do. All right, here we go. Making an Iron Man. I can't really make a lot of machinist noises. Otherwise, I'd, I'd give you give you a whole soundboard. All right, I'm just gonna press that firmly together. And we're gonna set that aside and let it dry because now it looks like we're gonna go on to step two, which is building the thighs. So for the thighs, we've got each thigh in two parts. So if we look at our instructions, it looks like we want to take shoop, part four and combine it with part number 13. Let's do that really quick. Snip, snip. And we'll just make sure that I read that correctly. Snip, snip. Quick dry fit just to make sure that we got all this right. Oh, we didn't, we read it wrong. Okay. So we want part four and we want part 14. Look at that. We can totally do this correctly. This is why you dry fit. Even if you think you know what you're doing, you dry fit. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. Set that other part off to the side because we'll need it in a second. So part four and part 14 are gonna make one thigh. We're gonna build that before we move on to the other thigh so we don't get them mixed up. Again, this is why it's really good to just work on one part, get it completely built, and then move on to clipping something else off the frame. Because if you snip everything off, you're gonna be doing a lot of dry fitting to try to figure out where those parts were and which one goes to which. Clean up this key really quick. All right, here we go. Slappy on a little glue. Slap, slap, slap. Get our parts together, give them a good press. Turn our big chonky fingers. Just 
check our sides really quick. Looks good. Let's set that down. All right, we're going to make the next thigh. So this one is 13 and 3. So we're going to clip. We're going to clip. So there's our number 3. Here's our number 13. Just going to do some quick cleanup. And right over here, get that little point cleaned up. And shht, 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 shht. Yes, yes. All right. Let's apply our glue. down, match our two parts up, press them together, there we go, that a good push, all right, we'll set that aside to dry, and while those are drying, we're going to move on to step three, so step three, we're going to attach the lower leg to the upper thighs, so we have part 15 and part 16. So I'm going to go ahead and just to make this a little easier on myself, I'm not going to take both legs off at the same time. I'm going to go back to the first thigh that I completed, which is going to be Iron Man's right thigh. So I'm going to grab his right leg. And his right leg looks like is going to be part number 16. Yes, 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 yes. Part number 16, which is this one. I'm gonna clip that off really quick. And this will stop me from having to dry fit a couple of times because I forget which leg is which. So part 16, give this a little clean. Tell I never directed or anything. I'm really bad at the stage right, stage left thing. I just always assume it's whatever side I'm on. Like, well, clearly that's his right, and that's his left, but it's the opposite. I would not do well in the mirror universe. I'm just gonna scrape off this little bit of mold line going on here. Just back the blade a little bit. So I want this to be smooth. Do a quick dry fit, make sure that we did all this right. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Whoa! Jumped at you. That's like a scared rattlesnake. <sighs> okay, fantastic. Take a little bit of our glue, which we're going to have to get more of because all this nonsense has let it dry out a little bit. Get on there, push the parts together, give them a good press, there we go, leg one. Move on to leg two. This is going to be part number 16, which is the left leg. See, he can be taught. Not really. Clean off this extra material here so my key goes in nice and well. Clean off the extra material on his foot so that he stands nice and good on his base. Nice and good. Do a little bit of clean up. Bolt blow. There we go. 
come back. Let's do a really quick dry fit. Ooh. So why we dry fit? Because I just put the thigh on the wrong way. <laughs> there we go. That makes a lot more sense. And again, it's always important, no matter how much you've done this, you want to test fit everything. Because all it takes is picking something up the wrong way and slapping it on there, and then you have a big mess. A little too much glue, but that's okay. We can clean that off. There we go. All right, push that, we'll let it dry. Step four, we are gonna be building Iron Man's arms. So, we're going to need parts number five, which is right here. And we're going to need part number ten. So let's get five. Clip this bad boy off. There we go. Let's get part number ten. Clip this bad boy off. Get the other side. Ooh. All right, so this one is really hard to get to that point right where the hand is. And one of the things I don't want to do is I don't want to clip erroneously because there's a little bit of a key for his hand. So what I'm going to do again is I'm just going to come in and I'm going to clip off a bit of the frame. And that's going to give me all of this extra room. So now I can really see right where I want to cut. So sometimes you just want to work around. And there we go. I mean, it's so much easier than trying to fight my way through there and maybe taking off too much, too much material. Because you never want to cut into the part. That just causes problems. So, you know, take your time. Be thoughtful about where you're going. Because you only ever get to cut once. guy's all ready to go. Take this guy. Clean that off. There we go. There we go. All right, let's so look at our diagram. We want this part to go like that. And we want this forearm to slot over like that. Perfect. Okay. Let's grab some more glue. Yes. So much glue. And we're going to just put a little bit right in there. And then we're going to grab this. We'll just slide it in like we just tested and give it a little bit of pressure. Awesome. Okay. Now we're going to take this piece and step five is to add the hand and the shoulder pad. And so for the shoulder pad bit, we're looking for part seven, which is right here. And for the hand, we're looking for part 12. So I'm going to clip off the shoulder pad. Set it down, clip the hand. Yes, yes, perfect. Do a little bit of cleanup. <laughs> Just scrape with my knife, take off that extra material. So I'm going to do the hand first. Not that there's a need to do these in a particular order. It's just, it's in my hand right, it's in my fingers right now. So rather than put it down and have to pick it back up. And then I'm going to just slot it in like so.
a little bit of pressure. Great. And I'll put on this shoulder pad. test fit because now I'm all wonky and askew there we go right. <laughs> we want to go like this We'll get there eventually. And it'll be beautiful. All right, whoop. Go flying away. There we go. Gotta be smarter than the part. Gotta be smarter than the part. All right, a little bit of pressure. There we go. It's on there nice and secure. We're gonna set that aside to dry. Let me just do a quick little test fit, just to check our work. Oh yeah, look at that. Plow, plow. Repulsor beams a go-go. All right, step six, we're gonna build the other arm now. So for that, we're gonna need part 11, part number six, and part number eight. So 11, six, and eight. So we're just gonna start clipping out. Part 11, snip, snip. All right. So because I can't quite get a great shot at this, I'm going to, again, just clip the frame. And then once it's off the frame, that's gonna give me a really nice and clean approach to not clip anything I don't want to clip. I'd really hate to ruin Tony Stark's super style with these little wings. These fancy little vambrances that he's got going on here. Last thing I want to do is mess with that. Tony Stark style. It's very important. It's very important. All right, so we're just going to Do some scraping to clean off that excess material that we have left over. Maybe use a little bit of our fingernail to help clean. There we go. Perfect. All right, so that part's good. Come back up here. We're going to clean this part off. Great. Go back to my glue. I'm going to do a little bit of test fitting just to make sure I know what I'm doing here. Yep, there we go. So that's the way we want the piece to go. It's just, and the key makes that really easy since it's scooped. So you can't, you can't get it to go this way. It's got to go this way. So we'll attach the upper arm and the forearm. Put our glue in there. Slide it in. A little bit of pressure. Great. Set that down. We got to add the shoulder pad. See if we can have more success on the shoulder pad. So this is going to be part number six. So we're just going to give it a little clip. We're going to clean off this little bit of extra material. Yeah. All right. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Pick up the arm. Whoop. Pick up the arm successfully. I do a quick test fit since that last one gave me such trouble. See, so this time, no problems. All right, but that's why we test fit, kids. That's why we test fit. Put in the glue. A little layer of glue. Don't need a lot. Just a little bit. Push, firm pressure. 
Perfect. Set that aside. All right. Last thing we need to do. Well, that's the wrong frame. We're going to grab Iron Man's head. So a little clip under the chin. A little clip on the top of the head. Snip. And that is it for that frame. So I'm just going to take my knife. And do some scraping across the top of the head. Take off that extra material. I'm just going to check. Got really nice, no mold lines that I need to worry about. Get that extra material under the chin. So I'm just going to work it from a couple of different angles. Do a little bit of scraping. There we go. Look at that. Iron Man. All right, let's go ahead and assemble Iron Man. So we're going to take the torso. This is step seven. We're just going to attach the legs, the arms, and the head. And then all we'll have left is the base, and we'll have ourselves an Iron Man. Just a little bit of glue. Now the way you can tell which leg goes where is just look for the little, little hip joint. So that little hip rotator, screw, bolt, whatever it is, that needs to go on the outside, and it'll just fit right in there like that. See? So if you try to do it, and this is on the inside, you've got the leg on the wrong side. Just want to do that. It'll fit right in there. A little bit of pressure. Good to go. Go to the next leg. Oh, we're having too much fun. I keep running out of glue. All right. Put that right there. And we're just going to slot that right in. The key just takes it right where it wants to go. Fits right in there. Just perfect. Great. Now we're going to do the arms. I'm going to reload my glue. A little bit more back in my container. Put a dot in here. So the arm that you built in step six is the pointing down arm. So that's going to be the arm that goes right here. And again, the key is going to guide you, so you're not going to be able to put the arms on wrong. And the thumbs are always a good indicator. So even if for some reason you were just trying to Rambo this with no instructions, pay attention to the thumbs. The thumbs are always towards the torso. Your thumb isn't going to be over here. That'd be weird. If, if, you know, maybe there's somebody out there that has that going on. If so, that's cool. But Iron Man for sure, thumbs towards the torso. We're going to do this. Now this one's the, the shooty hand, the repulsor blasting hand. So look at that. Oh yeah. We almost have ourselves an Iron Man. So the last thing to do is get that super sweet helmet on. That Mark whatever helmet. I suppose this one would technically be seven because that's what we used for most of our reference. The hero armor. And there you go. As you all know, there's one last step to go before we're done. And that is to put him on a base. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick this base for him. I feel like Iron Man should be on a on a mostly iron base. Plus thinking about kind of how I want to paint him in the future. Those bright reds and golds will look really good set against a darker steel plate. It'll really make him pop and kind of draw focus to him. So we're just going to grab a bit of glue. Bloop. Bloop. Put it on his foots. Get his foots all covered in glue. And we're just going to drop it like that. Of pressure. There we go. Oh no, not enough pressure. That's okay. Sometimes that happens. And there's no such thing as a professional hobby builder. We're all just learning. There. All right. Oh, he's just not going to let me show you. 
He doesn't want to play along. All right, we'll just hold his feet like that. There we go. Completed Iron Man. As long as I don't tip him, he'll set nice and neat.